Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Marcus Rashford in talks over a new five-year deal, but Man United won't go beyond £300,000 a week. Manchester United are prepared to finalize a new long-term contract for Marcus Rashford, provided he accepts a basic salary of £300,000 a week, the Sun report. The England international has been in superb form for the Red Devils this campaign, registering 16 goals and a further 6 assists from 26 appearances in all competitions. United boss Eric Ten Hag recently described him as unstoppable after his match winner, in the derby, and talks are now underway with him over a fresh long-term deal. Rashford currently earns £2,000 a week until June 2024. United are ready to prolong his stay if he accepts a 50% pay rise on his salary with incentives on top of that. The club are quite clear that they want to break their wage structure for the 25-year-old, they want to keep the top earners in their squad within the £200,000 to £300,000 a week bracket and have asked De Gea to accept a 27% pay cut on his £375,000 weekly wages. Rashford has been a tremendous for United this season. He has been hugely influential in the Premier League, where United are in a healthy position to finish in the top four at the moment. Ten Hag is obviously a big admirer of the club graduate and it's a no-brainer to reward him with an improved deal. There are no surprises that they are prioritizing his contract over others. Rashford may want a huge pay rise in the prime of his career. United should find an alternative solution to convince him. Suppose he is reluctant to accept the contract offer on the table. They could add significant bonuses for every goal contribution while also agreeing on a huge signing on and loyalty fees in our view. United must keep Rashford at any cost next term. Paris Saint-Germain are hot on the trail of him. They spoke with his brother privately last year. The Ligue 1 giants could make a serious approach this summer if Rashford does not renew. Borussia Dortmund eyeing shock move for Man United forward Antony Ilanga. German giants Borussia Dortmund are weighing up a shock move loan for Manchester United winger Antony Ilanga, according to Talksport. Ilanga has struggled for regular playing time under manager Eric Ten Hag this season, but his form has also been hugely disappointing. He is currently behind Marcus Rashford, Anthony, and Alejandro Garnacho in the pecking order for a starting role. There could be more competition soon. Facundo Pellestri is knocking on the door for more opportunities after a lively debut, while Jaden Sancho is not far from making his comeback. Hence, Ilanga seems the likely candidate to head for the exit door, and Dortmund appear to be exploring a loan deal for him at the moment. Everton and Bournemouth are also interested in his services, but the Sweden international has been fancied to prefer a move abroad. Ilanga showed promise during the second half of last season. He was a regular starter under entry boss Ralf Ragnick and made key goal contributions. However, he has struggled to replicate the performances this term. Ten Hag currently has Rashford and Anthony as undisputed starters. When he has changed the formation, Bruno Fernandes has also started out wide. In our opinion, Ilanga needs more minutes to revive his lost confidence and United should loan him out for the reminder of the ongoing campaign. Instead of fighting a relegation battle with Everton or Bournemouth, a move to Dortmund would be best for him as he can also play in the Champions League. Newcastle United target Scott McTominay open to St. James Park move. Newcastle United want to sign Scott McTominay to boost their central midfield department. According to The Telegraph, McTominay is open to moving to Newcastle because of his apprehension regarding the playing time at Old Trafford. The 26-year-old has been a mainstay for United in recent years. Jose Mourinho unearthed the youngster during his time in charge. Eric Ten Hag figured out early that the Red Devils needed to sign a defensive midfielder who can control the pace of the game, something McTominay failed to do. United went big to get Casimero to the theatre of dreams, 
who has brought authority and energy to the midfield, which was missing for almost a decade, the Scotland International, has not been playing regularly under Ten Hag. Casimero's dominance in the number six spot means it's almost impossible for McTominay to replace the Brazilian until the latter is injured or rested. He does not have the vision or the creativity to play at number 8 or 10 for United. He offers physicality to the team, but not the incisive passing ability that Christian Eriksen possesses. With Donny van de Beek injured for the rest of the season, a January exit for McTominay is not an option. However, if an opportunity arises next summer, United should try to offload the midfielder to Newcastle at a hefty price. He is still young with the prime of his career ahead of him. Getting 30 to 40 million euros would be good business for the Red Devils. They can use the funds received from this deal to sign a world-class midfielder, potentially Frankie de Jong, who is highly admired by Ten Hag. A midfield of Casimiro, de Jong, Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes would take them much closer to a serious Premier League title fight. Preston North and Boss offers an update on whether Zidane Iqbal will arrive from Manchester United. Speaking to Lancashire Post, Preston North and Boss Ryan Lowe offered an update on whether the Manchester United youngster Zidane Iqbal will join the club. It was reported a few days ago that Iqbal could be allowed to go on loan to a club where he can get first team football experience. Last season, the youngster did the train with the Preston squad as part of the club's initiative to send young players to join up with football league sides and gain valuable experience. Here is what Lowe said when asked about Iqbal potentially coming to Preston. They joined us last year for a week and they were excellent, the pair of them, but there is no interest in us taking Zidane on loan unless I am told different from Man United and they say he wants to come, then it might be a different conversation, I haven't been told that. Iqbal has been part of the United Youth setup since the summer of 2019. He has played a total of one minute of senior football, coming on late against the young boys in the Champions League. The Iraq-born youngster is a central midfielder who can play as a number 10. He has played eight games in all competitions for various youth sides this season, most of them coming as a number 8. With what we have seen from Eric Ten Hag this season, it's clear that he does not shirk away from giving young players a chance to showcase their skills. Alejandro Garnacho is one prime example. Iqbal hasn't gotten that note so far. Hence, it might be better for him to leave on loan to a club that can guarantee some first team minutes for him. Once that experience is gained, it would be slightly easier for him to make a push for a senior team appearance at Old Trafford. The 19-year-old is a bright young talent who would do well at Preston. They should be looking to get him for the rest of the season. Manchester United in new boy Wood Weghorst expresses his hunger for scoring goals. Manchester United's in new signing Wood Weghorst admits that finding the back of the net is his prime objective. The Dutch international recently moved to Old Trafford for the remainder of the season on loan. In his interview with ManUnited.com, he expressed his thirst to score goals. He said, I want to score goals here. I am a striker, and I think every striker knows it, you are living for scoring goals. That's the thing we have been working all week for, to get it done at the weekend, and that's definitely something I want to achieve here also. That's also what I meant by being part of it and contributing. Of course, for me as a striker at the end, it's also all about goals. Expectations cannot be huge from a loan signing, but Veghurst, has a significant role to play for the remainder of the campaign. More United are alive in every competition and putting up a strong fight for the top four positions in the Premier League. With games coming thick and fast, Ten Hag will need attacking options who can contribute from the bench. Standing at 6 feet and 6 inches, Veghurst will offer physicality if United want to play a direct style of football. Anthony Martial has been the victim of injuries throughout the campaign. His injury-prone record means that Ten Hag cannot trust him to start every game, and even if he does, he will hardly play all 90 minutes. Veghurst will bring the focal point to United's attack in the last half hour or so, with Luke Shaw, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes, United have players who can float in threatening crosses 
two rods the towering striker, if the 30-year-old can score goals in double digits by the end of the season, the United faithful will term his loan signing as a successful one. Report claims Ten Hag wants to sign 90 million euros Dusan Vlahovic. Manchester United are reportedly refusing to let go in the race to sign Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic. That's according to a report from Correr Torino, who claimed that Juventus are keen to sell the 22-year-old with United closely monitoring the situation. However, Juve will not allow the Serbia international to leave for anything less than a hoping of 90 million euros. United clearly won't be paying that kind of money for a centre forward this month, having already signed Woodweghurst. However, this will be one to keep an eye on in the summer transfer window. The Juventus striker is still very much on Eric Ten Hag's radar. According to reports coming out of Torino, it's suggested that the Dutchman will have to spend big to bring him to Old Trafford. Despite the monstrous price tag, United should go all out to sign Vlahovic. He is a tall, powerful bully and would be a great focal point for United's attacking play. He is also an excellent finisher. His career goal scoring record of 88 goals in 193 games is evidence of that. Vlahovic would be a tremendous addition for United. Whether the owners, current or new, are prepared to meet his 90 million euros valuation remains to be seen. Manchester United lining up summer 2023 transfer bid for Napoli forward Victor Ossimhan. Manchester United are lining up a summer 2023 transfer bid for Napoli star and Nigeria international Victor Ossimhan, according to El Matino. The Red Devils are amongst several clubs monitoring the 24-year-old ahead of the upcoming transfer window. Eric Ten Hag is already working on a deal to bring the striker to Old Trafford. Osim Han's agent are looking to bring their client to the Premier League. However, the Nigerian has asked his agent to stop discussions on possible moves considering the Italian giant's position in the Serie A table. Napoli are leading the league at the moment and have a 9-point gap at the top. As a result, the Naples-based club now have the chance to lift their first Scudetto since 1990. In the current campaign, the 24-year-old has been a pivotal player for Napoli. He has made 17 appearances in all competitions for the Italian outfit, scoring 13 goals and providing 4 assists. The Serie A giants were also impressive in this season's Champions League group stages, finishing top of their group. They will now face Eintracht Frankfurt in the round of 16. Apart from Man United, Newcastle and Arsenal are also eyeing the striker's signature. While the Gunners are leading the Premier League, the Magpies have also surprised many and are currently in third place. The Red Devils lost Cristiano Ronaldo in November and have replaced him with Wood Weghurst. However, the 30-year-old has a joint on loan as an apparent short-term solution until the end of the campaign. Thus, the Old Trafford side evidently need a quality number 9. Therefore, a move for an established player like Osimhan will be welcomed by many fans. Antonio Conte rules Manchester United out of Premier League title race. If any manager wanted to rule Manchester United out of the title race before the season, it would barely have been worth stating. After all, the Red Devils finished 35 points behind first place in the 21-22 season. As we reach January 2023, United's form has put the team into a position where a title charge is at least up for discussion. Defender Rafael Varane insists it's possible and considering the team's impressive form and strong defensive record, you probably can't quite rule a title push out just yet. Except if you are Antonio Conte, who does not believe Manchester United are a viable contender. Tottenham Hotspur manager Antonio Conte does not believe Manchester United are a viable contender for the Premier League. Speaking at a press conference quoted by the man, Conte said, In my opinion, Arsenal and City, they are the only two teams that can fight for the Premier League in this season. Conte was speaking after his Tottenham side slumped to a 2-0 defeat to Arsenal. They face Manchester City on Thursday night at the Etihad. A defeat likely beckons for Conte's Tottenham, but if they win and United beat Palace, then Eric Ten Hag's side will move into second place ahead of a visit to Arsenal this weekend. Conte's reluctance to brand United as title contenders may eventually be the right call. However, 
right now. The team is well placed to get into the mix. Tottenham are certainly not in the equation. They are five points behind Manchester United, having played a game more. United beat Spurs easily earlier in the season, winning 2-0 at Old Trafford with Fred and Bruno Fernandes, the scorers. I will be uploading daily Man United news show, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.